one has made a today's special offering. Over here we have the white. That's on extended delivery. It is already sold out, but if you want to get it and you don't mind waiting a little longer, you can get it. If you want it right away, you're going to choose the black. Then we have the red. Then we have the plum and we have the deep teal. Everything's on board so you never lose the dumb blades or any of the inserts, which I love because we all have lost them in the past. But really it's all about saving you time and getting better results in the kitchen. Hi, John. John, my first question for you, sir. Yes. How many years have you been working with mandolins? Uh, uh, 30. Okay. How many <laughs> mandolins do you think you've sold over 30, 30 years? This man knows his uh, mandolins. Uh, millions. Okay, millions. Yes. What makes this one different than any other mandolin you've ever seen in 30 years? It's, uh, there's several things okay. about this, okay? What we've done at Kitchen HQ is taking, taken everything about a mandolin and made it better, okay? Uh, mandolins save you a ton of time. They save you a ton of money. But what we've done with the foldable legs that make it easy to store, the non-skid feet, the, the, uh, the handle that goes down below the unit so it doesn't get in the way when you're using it, uh, with the blades, everything is on board so there's no parts and pieces to search for. Everything is adjusted by two knobs on the side. And we've added a new feature that I've never seen on any other mandolin to this point, okay? And that's a dicing feature, all right? Right down here at the bottom, there's a little lever that allows the platform to, to spring oh. up and down, which allows you to score vegetables for dicing, and I'll show you that here in a second. That is a nifty and, new yeah, development. I know. That's really cool. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, this is probably, for the price today, you will not oh. find a better mandolin on the market for, I mean, even at double this price. So, but let me show you real quick how it works though, because it's so simple to use. If you've never used a mandolin before in your life, Here's how easy this is to use. Whether you're right-handed or left-handed, it doesn't matter with this mandolin. It fits in a bowl, it fits across the bowl. You can do this on your countertop or tabletop. I'm, I put it on a thick slice, okay, by turning the knob on the side to the thickest setting. It goes from thick to thin, eight different slicing thicknesses. It comes with a safety holder. It comes with a guide, so if you are a first-timer, you don't have to worry about cutting yourself, okay? now. Put, take this, a tomato, a potato, onion, whatever you wish. There's three stainless steel prongs inside this the safety holder. You push the fruit or vegetable up inside, the button on top pops up. Okay, when you push down on the button, the food comes out. So it's very simple to use. Now, you start at the top of the machine, you slide it down to the table. You slide it back up to the top, back down to the table. Every slice that comes out of this machine is gonna come out uniform, even, and perfect because of the way it's designed. You see, with a flat tray on the top, and a flat tray down below, and a blade in between, you can't help but get perfect slices. Awesome. Now, and, and uh, you know, I've developed mandolins over the years, okay? We've You've manufactured them, them and right? designed them, yes. Right. With this machine, it does everything but the cooking, okay? You can literally do more with this machine than a $300 food processor, okay? No that takes up all that room in your garage. Because right. Right. Yes. <laughs> that's where we store them, because it take, <laughs> take, take, take up so much room. Right. Now, the second knob on the machine, well, you'll see teeth that pop up, okay? When I turn this little knob, can you see those teeth, they pop up like that? Okay, those are your julienning teeth, but it also does your dicing. You've got large teeth and you've got small teeth, depending on which way that, that goes. I'm gonna show you that in a second. And don't forget to let me show you how to take corn off the cob because it's probably the best corn stripper you'll ever use. But most people, I'm gonna adjust this up to a thinner slice. Most people will tell you if the only thing you'll ever use a mandolin for is slicing onions or mincing onions, it's worth it for it this job alone. It is worth 24.95 right there. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> Listen, you'll never shed another tear slicing onions. Look at that, perfect and uniform. Every slice is just like the last. If they're sliced evenly, they'll saute up evenly. Okay you guys, can do let things me explain like... something just real quick, John. Okay. As he slices away, this is such a game changer for you in the kitchen. Do you have the mommy or grandma or person guilt? Where you go <laughs> through the drive throughs and you're like, how come I can't lose any weight because you're eating a lot of drive through food? That might be one of the reasons and we've all done it. If you say, you know what, I really wanna save a ton of money. Why are you ordering the pizzas? Or you're having the delivery sent to your home. If you want to eat healthier, we need to cook in our own kitchen. The real problem for all of us is, it's the prep. You yes. know, John, as you know, it's not really the cooking Listen, part. It's cooking how doesn't arduous. take time. No, it's the prep takes It's the forever. prep, that's right. This is gonna be like your new sous chef in the kitchen. Right. Now, mandolins were originally developed in Germany over 200 years ago, okay? They originally started out as a cabbage board for making sauerkraut. 
and you'll love it if you had take a head of cabbage cut it in half through the stem if it's a large head you can quarter it down through the stem so it's easy to hang on to and all you do is brush it against that blade Suzanne you can make the finest freshest fastest coleslaw or hot slaw or pepper slaw or chow chow homemade style Polish style kapuska uh, you, that you've ever made in your life I mean look at that it comes out like shredded wheat but the difference there's 12 different ways just to cut cabbage with this machine <laughs> all you have to do is make a couple of adjustments I'm gonna pop those small teeth up and now instead of shredding the cabbage it'll mince it into little pieces oh, that, that's so for like deli style salad. coleslaw and I love look at coles that I love chunky crisp look at that. cabbage in my salad yes it absolutely makes the salad so much snappier and heartier hey on taco night okay take a head of iceberg lettuce now I'm gonna put these little teeth back down okay and I put it on a thicker slice because for iceberg lettuce on taco night you can shred it more coarse or maybe it's for noodles and cabbage it does again there's <laughs> way more this will do way more than even a three four five hundred dollar food processor awesome. but the nice part about this is it folds up fits right in your knife drawer that way when you see it every day you'll use it every day right absolutely yeah. okay and let's review the colors real quick and pat if you can i kind of would love some updates at this point in the day we are heading at six o'clock a little after six here on the east coast the white is already sold out but we have on what's called extended delivery so if you really are dying for the white you can ask for that it just comes a little bit longer but not that much longer than our normal shipping the blue is the most limited right now we also have that gorgeous teal we have the plum or excuse me the blue is actually called teal Oh no, there's the blue. We have the teal, we have the plum, we have the red, and we have the black. This is a great gift idea. And yeah. I'll tell you what, with our FlexPay, you can get this home for $8.33. Wow. And like John, I have been doing this for a long time. That's, and I've seen a lot of mandolins. What is that? Quite that's, frankly. I'm adding that up, I'm doing the math. It's $8.32. That's 83 cents a finger. Okay, <laughs> listen. If you've if you ever slipped on one, one of these, okay, <laughs> it's worth that for the safety holder. That's so true, actually. <laughs> but again, for eight, a little over $8, get it at home. And John, you know, we've been on a long time together. Yep. I've never seen one that's more... Um, Versatile. We've never had a more versatile mandolin than this one right here today. Hey, when's the last time that you minced an onion that fast? For like tuna fish or for chicken salad, for homemade, uh, you know, meatloaf, for tacos or homemade chilies? I mean, the last, <laughs> if that's all you use it for, and there's no waste because of that safety holder, it takes it right down to the very last little nub there on that, on that onion. That was a whole onion that we minced perfectly. And if you want to talk about saving time, Suzanne, yeah. hey, you can chop one or two stalks of celery to time if you like okay but if you want to save time here's a little tip grab the whole bunch like this okay if it's a huge bunch wrapping a rubber band around it oh, okay. and then watch what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna hold this up so you guys at home can see this just brush it against those blades. <laughs> That's crazy. You can chop more celery in 10 seconds with this machine than you could chop in 10 minutes with a knife. Oh, my God. And, there's, and it's not stringy. Look at this. How come it's not stringy? Because that razor-sharp blade. Is that what now, it is? Uh, and there's, there's 26 different ways just to cut celery with this machine. <laughs> look at this. Lay it down on an angle or sideways, and now instead of uh, chopping your celery, you're going to make celery spears for your stir fries That's okay, awesome. or for a vegetable tray. If you want to slice them, drop those teeth down, and you can slice your celery for soups, stews, or barbecues. If you're into stir fries or have a wok at home, you can run it through on an angle to get those angle slices for your stir fries or for wok cooking. And you know, stir fries are quick and easy to cook. They're healthy, they're good for you. Now with the machine, they're quick and easy to cut. Right. <laughs> and oh, you absolutely. don't even need a wok, you can do it right in a frying pan. Would you say, John, now, how much money do you think approximately, and again, this is gonna be a guess. Okay. You know how you can, nowadays I think it's so clever, the grocery stores, you go into that one section and everything's pre-cut, why? Right. Why? Because we <laughs> because don't want to spend the time. We don't want to spend the time to do it, That's right? right. And we, but we're all feeling guilty. We want to cook at home, so we buy all that pre-cut stuff. How much money? Oh, potentially hey, thousands, right? How much I do you spend? If I didn't buy the pre-cut. I just did it myself. Yeah, what do you spend on frozen French fries? I mean, if yeah, everybody's got a like, bag of frozen French fries yeah, in the freezer, what do you think? I, I don't know, like four, four or five, five bucks. Right. What's a potato cost? 
Right. 50 cents? Yeah, 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 look, yeah. just brush it through. You can make homemade French fries literally in seconds with this machine. Shoestring French fries for the kids, but don't just stop with French fries, okay? I mean, it makes them perfectly. You can do zucchini spears for a vegetable tray, right. carrot sticks, apple sticks for, for an apple salad. I mean, it, again, it does way more work than those electric expensive machines, and everything comes out perfect. Now, that's your thick one or your thin one. I'm gonna turn this knob. I'll go to the thicker one and show you the difference because for bigger French fries, bigger carrot sticks, oh, that, bigger zucchini great. spears for your vegetable trays. Now you get that larger, oh, bigger nice. French fry, okay? I mean, it really doesn't All get right, much easier Here's than that. one of my favorite things so far. Yes. You are not losing any pieces and parts. Oh! I know, it's all... Like, hallelujah. And have you tried the mandolins? You've, you've seen these before, oh, I, know I know you have, where they've got a million different plates and you've got to click them in and out and they're really I've cumbersome. I've seen mandolins made in France, okay? French chef's mandolins yeah. that sell for over $200 that have 40 parts. Stop, are you yeah, no, serious? They, and they come in, they give oh. you a, a box to keep the blades in. Oh, jeez. Then you have to store that next to the main part of the machine. Oh, no. And they even come in, like, I've seen them, they come in a suitcase to hold come all the pieces, on. and then you gotta find a place to store that. Oh, now, listen, nice. nothing wrong with a $200 or $300 mandolin. They're great, and, and professional chefs love them and use them all the time. Works. But when you can get one for this price, it does the same thing. It even takes corn off the cob four or five so rows no at a time. So there's no blades to insert. There's no parts. It's all included. That's, that's the that, best. That's one of the best parts about this yep. is, you know, like I said, I've sold mandolins for years. I've developed them, designed them with parts and pieces and storage racks and all kinds of stuff to keep all the pieces together. Right. With this one, yeah, it fits right in your knife drawer. I have a quick and if you question keep it, for you. Yes. How often do you think people will use this? Every single day. Yep. Once you use this once, okay? And let me tell you this, I, and I, I've been saying this all day long, because I show you a lot of stuff that you can do with a mandolin here, yes. okay? If you only use it for one or two things that I'm showing you here, like if, if you chop onions or maybe it's celery or maybe you like coleslaw, maybe it's that you hate dicing onions, okay? It's if that's awful. all you use this machine for is for mincing or dicing onions, it's worth it for that job Wait, alone you know because of the time you save and you'll never shed another tear dicing onions because, well, look, the job's done so fast you don't you have this. time to cry. Let's up, let's up that question. <laughs> okay. How many of you have skipped onions in a recipe because you didn't want to cut the onion? Yeah. <laughs> hey, and you or, know, really, onions really add so much flavor to your recipes, but we skip it because we're like, who wants to cut onions? Here's the story <laughs> right now. I know we're pretty busy for this. If you're thinking about it, again, the blue, I have 1,100 left. In the plum, I have 1,300 left. And by the way, that's for the entire rest of the day. We've got another look at this next hour. I know it's going to air later on this evening, but if you want that plum or that blue, those were down to about a thousand remaining. We've got the pretty red you saw. We've got a gorgeous teal. And of course we have the black. And again, if you want the white, you can get it still. It's just going to ship a few days later than our regular shipping. But here's the perfect time to order this. Why? Because you want to be healthier. You want to cook more at home. You want to save a ton of money. There's just a laundry list of reasons why this is going to be awesome. And also I think at this time of year, we have people coming over. Maybe you're going to go to someone's home, you want to do a nice platter of veggies with dip, instead of spending $25 to get a pre-made veggie cheese platter, now make it yourself for pennies and over and over again because you have the most advanced mandolin we've ever offered. <laughs> Fabulous price, easy care. We haven't talked about that, John, but can you talk about care for me? Yeah, uh, all you do to wash it? Yep. That's, yeah, I was just going to mention that because if a kitchen tool is hard to clean, you never use it. I mean, let's admit it, right? right. Here's right. how simple this is. You've, you turn the knob on the side here, okay? It goes all the way up to the top, so now the blade is covered up so you can't cut yourself. You fold the legs up, you put this on the top shelf of the dishwasher, or just rinse it off under the hot or cold tap in the sink. You can flip it over, do the underside. If you do a lot like what I do, you know, in the cabbage, this even comes with a blade guard, so you can rinse that off and you never Brilliant. have to worry about it. That, that covers up the blades underneath, okay? and. Again, you fold it up, it fits right in your knife drawer. And I gotta tell you, I put it like next to a chef's knife because that's all the room it takes up. That's, that's If you great. see it every that day, you're gonna great. use it every day. Now, what it just if makes you say sense. someone's an inexperienced cook? Don't you think this gives them such a, a better chance of really getting exciting about well, cooking in the kitchen? Here's, I'll tell you, people, chefs, professional chefs spend years in culinary school learning how to knife use a knife, techniques. all right? Yeah. 
You don't have to do that with a mandolin, okay? A mandolin is like having a chef's knife, a professional chef that does the slicing for you. Even a professional chef could not slice a, 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 a bell pepper that safe, that fast, that thin, and that perfect all the way through, right to the end, without cutting himself, okay? And every slice comes out the same. Now, here, I gotta show you a couple more things because you're gonna do all, we've got different seasons coming up, okay? Right. Here we right. are, summer barbecue season, right? Everybody's yep. thinking barbecues. You're out there at the grill, I think somewhere back here, yep, I've got a big old zucchini or a big old uh, yellow squash. Look at this, for your barbecue, if you're barbecuing your vegetables, all you do is brush it through. I want you to see these, okay? They all come out exactly the same thickness. So on your barbecue, they're gonna cook up at exactly the same time. Right. You ever Again, notice how with results, a knife, right? you get one thick, one thin, you get one cooked, one burnt, one done, <laughs> right, one raw, right, right. okay? You don't have to worry about that with a mandolin. And because it's adjustable, you can do all kinds of fun things with this. How about this? If you wanna do, maybe that's too thick, okay, of a slice. That's, yeah, I, said, I think I it's great it for like, maybe, maybe it's for like a, 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 a soup Okay. But if you want, how about homemade chips? Oh, okay, that's awesome. sweet potato chips. You can make them fresh yourself at home, and it's done literally in seconds. I mean, look at those. Perfect, uniform, even. Homemade potato chips. Take a potato. Put it in that safety holder. And I mean, I get excited because there's so many things that you can do with this machine. Yeah. But look at this. There is no way you could slice that safe, that fast, that thin with a knife. Uh, now, and perfect. put these in a bowl of ice cold water. Okay, I've got some right here. They've been here all day, but they've been soaking in water. And I want you to see what happens. See how it soaks the starch out of the potatoes and they curl up and get crispy like a regular potato chip that you pull out of a bag. Oh. The water soaks the starch out. So dry them off, put them on a cookie sheet in your oven, sprinkle some Parmesan cheese, barbecue salt, and you season them how you like, and you can do baked potato chips right in your oven with no grease or oil. They're delicious, <laughs> healthy, good for you. And you just and, saved a ton of money. <laughs> and you're not buying them in that bag. Right, right? With all that There's no expiration there. date. Yeah, that's right, that's true. There's that's no eat true. by date. Yeah, right. <laughs> right? And, 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 and again, I think it all comes down to this. Are you a mom? and you say, oh my gosh, I take the kids to the drive-thru and then instantly as moms, because I've done it, I know, we feel terribly guilty. Are you spending a ton of money having food delivered to your house? We all know that eats that you can have delivered. You're still spending even more money. Oh, yeah. And you're not cooking for yourself. I think the reason that we don't do it is because we hate the prep. It takes too much time. This makes Butterfly prep apples. so <laughs> fast, so hey. easy. It just gets a job done we don't want to do. And then you'll be cooking better and cooking more and cooking healthier. Yeah. and feeling good about yourself. And again, and you know what? cooking's the fun part. I love saving money. Yeah. I love to save hey, money. It costs less, it tastes better, and it's better for you too. And you can get the whole family involved. Have the kids in there, in the kitchen, cutting and doing all your work for you. I mean, it's so much fun to use. When you're using a machine like this, again, you don't have to worry about things. It does more work, again, than one of those electric expensive machines. When the kids come home from school, or well, the school's out now almost, yeah. in most of the home country. from camp. You want, yeah, from camp. Big and they camp. want slices of orange, or if you, maybe you're doing some infused water and you want to slice a lemons or limes, or maybe you're having a, you know, a few of your drunken, a drinking friends over <laughs> and you want to slice up a lemon for some, uh, for some uh, cocktails, now you can do it with the mandolin the and it's fun. You can have some. homemade sangria? <laughs> no, seriously. Oh, you know, yeah. you know how complicated fact, here, homemade sangria is? We just we it's made a, some. You got to chop all that stuff now. No, <laughs> use the mandolin. Oh, that smells so good. I'll see you. You're not going very far, though. Uh, We've got okay. the knives coming up. Yes, but that's I do right. want to tell you about our bonus buy. If you want to pick up a second one, then you can get $5 off each additional uh, mandolin that you buy. Great gift, housewarming, maybe you got a kid moving to their first apartment, maybe you want to cook more, I would highly recommend taking advantage of it. Why? Because the price ends tonight at midnight. The deal is done. Okay, let me tell you what's coming up. Yep, I got it. We have oh, an awesome, awesome air fryer. Kelly Digdring is going to be joining me, and this is a 10 cord. This is a beauty. It's an air frying oven with the rotisserie. Now, that's a little different air frying oven with a rotisserie. Why do we love air fry? Because you get the crispness and the yumminess of fried food without any of the oils and any of the extra calories. It's better for you. In this case, it's now a rotisserie oven. So think about that. We're frying with air, so you get that beautiful browning. You get the crunch. You get the yummy. And on top of it, you now have a rotisserie with nonstick air racks. That is a brilliant machine. Here's the story. Featured price tonight with five flex pays and we have free shipping and handling. All right, John did not go far because we have another really smart idea from Kitchen HQ and this is our electric knife. Now, here's the story. 
We just got this back in stock. Yep. It's been out for a long time. We've got it on sale, and we've got three flex pays added to that. So I, that's awesome. Knives. I'll tell you what, electric knives have been around for a while. We all know them with the, the, the twin oscillating blades. They go back and forth. They hook together just like this. Now, I'll tell you, what we've done at Kitchen HQ is we actually supply you with two sets. You have one set that's labeled, and I'll show you right here on the blade, it's labeled carving, okay? The other blade, which I'll show you in a second, it says bread oh, on brilliant. it. So for bread or for carving. And you know, everybody thinks of an electric knife Back when I was a kid, oh, yeah. my parents had one, right, okay? Right. And they loved it at the holidays for doing the turkey or a ham or a roast. You always pulled out the electric knife during the holidays, but now with the new HQ electric knife, it's not just for the holidays anymore. I'll tell you, but you know, every I used to watch my dad do this. Okay, mm -hmm. and he used to cut it one slice at a time, right off the breast, right? Did he really? And the turkey was so dry. It was so, <laughs> it, was, it, it always was. But what I found out over the years is the proper way to do a turkey breast is to carve the breast off the meat like this, oh. okay? And I'm gonna get down in here, and with this knife, you, you can't do this, it's hard to do this, with, with a, a normal, a traditional everyday, knife. traditional right. butcher's knife, okay? Right, right. But I want you to see this, because now, oh, when you man. place that whole breast out on a plate, and then you start up your electric knife, and I'm gonna pull the cord around here, watch this, because the difference when you carve turkey the right way compared to the wrong way, I mean, the difference is absolutely amazing. And when I pull one of these out of here, I want you to see the difference. You can see the juices. You can see the texture. It's the grain of the meat that makes the difference when you're eating turkey. And I've learned that over the years, okay? This is so good, by the <laughs> way. Isn't that delicious? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now, the bread knife, you'll notice, looks different on the tip, okay? And I switched this one out. For carving breads, or for uh, slicing breads, fresh, soft, even crusty bread, all you, it's like the, the weight of the knife does the slicing for you. All you do is place it on the bread, and it does the work. And you can slice as thin or as thick as you like. The fresh, you can buy a fresh, soft loaf of bread in your supermarket, take it home, and make that loaf of bread last all summer long. I mean, look how thin that is. <laughs> or you can do more with an electric knife than you can do by hand with a regular knife. I mean, you know, if, if you, for your baking, for cooking, yep. if you're making your stuffings, okay, you can use, you, you can actually take that and That's carp, brilliant. yeah, and eat soft angel food cake right out of the oven. Yep. Again, it does weight. I don't have to move the knife because right. it's doing the movement for and me. And how often have you done a really nice meal and then you yeah. totally hack the heck out of the bread? <laughs> right. And it right. looks terrible. We were like, oh, nice meal, but the bread looks terrible. Look at we're this. We're gonna say hi to two people. Oh, okay. You ready? Oh, bagels, of course, cutting bagels in the morning. And you can never cut a bagel straight. No. Never you, you, in a million years can you cut a bagel straight. Look at that. Let's say hi to Russell <laughs> in Georgia. He picked up his hey, special. Hey, Russell. <laughs> hi, Russell, you're on the air. Welcome to HSN. Hello there, how are you? We are great, how are you today? I am in love with that mandolin. Why are you oh, in yeah. love with it, Russell? <laughs> well, I recently had open heart surgery. Okay. And my doctor said, you got to quit eating grease. I'm a southern boy. You know, if it's not deep fried in 40 weight motor oil, I can't eat it. So yes, sir. I'm, I'm doing a lot of baking and things like that. But I wanted to, to cut my vegetables and potatoes and things up. In, in thin slices so I could bake them yeah. more easily. Yeah. And so I've done a lot of research on the mandolin. Yes. Today I walked into the house and just turned the television on, and all of a sudden, there you guys were with a perfect mandolin, and I thought, that thing does everything I want it to do. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, I have flown airplanes that didn't have as many gizmos on <laughs> as some of, some of these mandolins. <laughs> This mandolin you have, yeah. it's simple, it's easy to use, and boy, it's ineffective. It's, you're doing a good job. I, I love this show. Thank oh, you so good, much. Good. Well, that's so wonderful. Well, and Russell, you, so you know, good for you to really take control of your health, too. Because no one's going to do it unless you do it. And that's wonderful, and that's going to help you out immensely with your new health goals. 
Well, thanks. It's good talking to both of us. Thanks so you much, too, Russell. Russell. Thanks for calling us. Yeah, great point, right? right. Yeah, His doctor's absolutely. like, Russell, I know. stop eating all the fried it's foods. It's time to get healthy. Get it's some time vegetables to do something in you. good for yourself. Look right. at that, baby. Fruits and vegetables. And here's something that's tough to do, even with the sharpest butcher's knife, okay? No Splitting a pineapple in half. It's perfect, <laughs> though, for a party. You can carve this out. You can make your own little fruit sure. bowls out of these. Well, you know, watermelon perfect in the displays. summertime. Hey, Nothing come, better than watermelon in the summertime. Watermelon in the summertime. Oh, you please. can't beat this. this and here's summer. a little tip for cutting watermelon, okay? This is something that I've learned over the years, too. When you're cutting watermelon, the first thing most people do is they split the watermelon and then they start making wedges, right? Mm -hmm. Here's a little tip for you. I'm gonna set this aside. Okay. Next time you carve a watermelon, try it like this. Those wedges are so, especially if you have kids, they're really tough to eat because they get messy, you get that rind that gets up on your cheeks, okay? Yes. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, you're no, totally So right. if you put your watermelon flat down on the cutting board like this, use your electric knife by Kitchen HQ, you cut through it one way like this, yeah. turn it this way, we're gonna line these up, and now I'm gonna cut it this way. Oh, so and you know, with a knife, that would be a hard with, to do. With a knife, it would be very hard to do. Yeah. But now, the kids, when you do this at home, and here, I'll do, just to save some time here, yeah, let me do one more cut. Because I tell you, once you use an electric knife, it's almost like you'll never go back to another knife again. And what but blade this are you is how you serve that? this. This is the carving blade. Okay. okay. But now the kids can reach in here and oh, grab their own little perfect. watermelon popsicles. It's like a little popsicle. Uh, <laughs> We're going to say hi to Elizabeth in isn't New York. Cool? She also got the mandolin. Oh, great. Miss Elizabeth, you're on with John and Suzanne. Thank you for joining us on HSN. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi, Elizabeth. Do Doing quite well, thank you. Oh, very good. I'm just so excited to receive my mandolin, but I'm just looking at the electric knife. I'm thinking I have to make another call. It's wonderful. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute, I kind of need that. Well, what do you love most about I that do. mandolin, Elizabeth? Why did you pick the mandolin up? Well, I had one previous by another maker, which we're not going to name, and it broke within a week, and I was upset. Yeah. And it was it was so heartbreaking because you can make it. Um into different salads and make different things with it. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted another one, and yours looks like the best quality I've seen in such a long time. Yeah. Let me ask you, Elizabeth, once you use a mandolin for the first time, is, isn't it like, you, you, it's like you want one. You always have it's to like have one day. after that. Yeah. You need one. Yeah. Forget the want, you need one. <laughs> right. right. Until you use one, you just don't know how useful they really are. And I gotta tell you, right. kind of like an electric knife too. Once That's you start true. using an electric knife, I mean, you won't even go in your knife drawer anymore. You Why just keep this you? plugged Why in. Why would you? I'm watching you, I'm like, I'm thinking because we started the keto diet and we eat a lot of good meat. Sure. And it's so hard to cut sometimes. Yes. I'm thinking I should go get one. Yeah, well, Elizabeth, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let you go so you can order your knives before they sell out. Thank and you thank so you much. so much for joining us and enjoy that mandolin. Have a wonderful weekend, thank you. You too, honey, take care. And, and here's the know, scoop. Well, show them once again in case someone's yeah, wondering. Yeah, here's what you get. the two blades they're getting. Okay, that's what I'm going to show you. Okay. They, you co it comes with the stand that sits right on your countertop. Oh, so nice. you can leave it right out on your oh, countertop. It holds the electric knife. You can even, I, what I, at home, what I do is I put the cord right back in here. It sits right up next to the backsplash. On the, on the other part of the, of the uh, cutting board, this is where your blades store. And right here, this one's labeled bread knife, okay? And this is the one I used earlier for slicing that soft bread. Okay, and this one on this side is for your carving, and this one is labeled carving right here on the blade. So you never have any confusion on which one to use for which. Listen, if you have a fisherman in your life that fillets fish, this is oh. the best fillet knife, an electric <gasps> fillet knife. And Great you, idea. the one I use is the carving one for filleting fish, okay? okay? I use it all the time at home. They, and it, what's great about it is it stores right there on your tabletop or countertop, so it's always there, out ready and handy, ready to use. Okay, and while we're here, we have three colors. We have the silver, we have the red, and we have the black. The silver, I'm down to the final 200. So if you want the silver, here's the black, here's the red, matches back to the mandolin if you're gonna be nice and coordinated. Oh. And I think, John, you made such a good point. It's like you don't know how often you'll use this until you get it home and start using it. Yeah. And you're like, why would I pull out oh. between the mandolin today special right. and this? Well, the mandolin's great for your but fruits. But you'd never pull out a traditional knife. No, you Why won't. would you? I know. <laughs> I know, I mean, that's seriously, the thing. all your dicing and slicing's done, yep. and now your heavy-duty stuff's cut with this. Well, all your meats, yeah. and you can do cheeses with an electric knife. With the mandolin, it's great for your fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. I gotta tell you what, though, this is a pork loin. 
All right, this bacon wrapped, you wouldn't know it. It just looks kind of burnt, but that's burnt bacon. That's As I'm going through this with the electric knife, you notice I'm not sawing. Yeah. I don't have to and really get in there. it's not tearing up and the top. I, I want you to see this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That bacon is crispy. And look, it peels right off I there. just, I want to eat that right now. <laughs> I know. I just want to eat that I can smell right it. The smell is out, out of this world <laughs> right <so> now. so good. <laughs> <laughs> but here's something fun. After dinner, all right, you can grab a tub of ice cream like this, okay. all right? And here, I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna clean this real quick. I'm okay. gonna make you a quick dessert. Are you because really? look, you can actually cut right through frozen ice cream <laughs> with your electric knife, okay. container and all, okay? You can do, on a container like this, you can do probably three or four pads like this. And then if you have some chocolate chip cookies at home, what you're gonna do is you're gonna place this between two cookies, oh, and then you're gonna take that wrapper, and I'm gonna cut, cut it with a knife just a little bit here, just so I can cut through the wrapper, and then you're gonna take that wrapper and just peel that right off of there. Oh, hello. And you've got your own homemade note, ice cream sandwiches. Wow. Okay, <laughs> and real quick, you can do that with your knife. Do we need to sharpen the blades at all? Uh, no, and you, you can if you want to, okay. okay? But because you're carving meats with it, you'll very rarely have to sharpen okay. this knife. I do suggest a good diamond sharpener if you want to sharpen the knife. So you can sharpen it. You can great. sharpen okay. it if you want to. All right, John. You'll probably never have to, We though. gotta wrap it up, buddy. Thank you. We're gonna see you next <laughs> I'm gonna hour. gonna make a Rama out here. <laughs> You're not going very far. I know oh, that. No. <laughs> He'll be back next hour with another look at our Today Special. And speaking of it, that's what our two callers, Elizabeth and Russell, uh, already picked up today. They got this great mandolin. Now, gang, I have probably sold... I know John sold him for 30 years. I have probably sold several... 100,000 mandolins over the years I've been on the air. We've never had one that's more advanced and more versatile than this. And the nice part about it is it's all on board. You don't have a whole bunch of blades you have to snap in and snap out and lose and throw in the drawer and then never can find or cut your hand on it. This one's got the hand guard, the food holder. And what we did is we took everything you wanted. Really, it's... It's, it's everything you asked for or could think of or wanted in a perfect mandolin and put it in one. And what's lovely is we have one day price. I mean, it's $25 basically. You have flex pay, get it at home for a little over $8 and really use it for a good 30 days. If you're not saving money and eating healthier and eating more at home, which you know is better and saves you a lot of money, then send it back. But imagine if you could save in one meal the cost of our mandolin today and today alone. All right, so that's good until midnight. We'll take one more look at it coming up. Uh, that'll be next hour. Okay, we have another today special coming up, and that is from Dell. We love that computer company. They work just in tandem with us in a wonderful system. It's a touchscreen Dell. This is your opportunity to get what's called a pre-sale. Now, it's going to be a today's special, but what happens is you can order it now. You don't have to wait. We'll honor the today special price. Isn't that awesome? You can check it out on hsn.com, of course. All right, I got to move on because we have more to get to, and this this is from Chefman, and this is a hand-controlled blender. Now, I was getting ready to go on the air, because that's what I do before I go on the air. I get ready to go on the air. <laughs> And what happened was, I got this note. In fact, I got this note three times before I went on the air. And I'm like, okay, I got it, guys. Originally, this was going to be a really awesome price at $29.95. I have crossed it out because literally about five minutes before we went on, they said, somebody in some world here at HSN said, let's make it even better. So we've now reduced it to $24.95. That is on sale. This is the first airing this year. And we have all these amazing colors back in stock for the first time. So what are your colors? We have black, we have a beautiful pink, we've got the red, we have this gorgeous lavender, and we have this lovely, lovely light blue. So it's so pretty. So we have all the colors available, but why do you need a hand blender? I'm not gonna tell you that Miss Stephanie Roberts is. Hi, Steph. Hello. So why a hand blender? Why do we need this? Oh my goodness, from soups to salad dressings this time of year, frozen drinks are always a good thing. Always a plus. We have a long list of reasons you need a hand blender, but here's the thing. So I've sold immersion blenders, as they're also known for years, typically $100. I mean, seriously. Sure. And as a result, a lot of us have been like, well, I could probably do without it for $100. The price that Chefman has put this at versus what it can do is absolutely amazing. Okay, that's amazing. insane. Yes. $24.95. 
It, and you it, know what I thought it was going to be when I saw the word hand blender? You I thought, thought it was, was a mixer. Oh, mixer. You know what? So we've and been this, joking about this, this all day. We really, all thought that. This is that high-end immersion yes. thing. Yes. Wow. This is your immersion blender. It oh is gosh. 300 watts. And here's the thing I'm going to tell you about that. You can go find an immersion blender that's 700 watts if you'd like. You'll pay two and $300 for it. Here's my question. Why? What exactly are you grinding with this thing, right? right. What you are using it for are your soups. By the way, did you see how fast that just went? That's amazing. I do not need more than 300 watts in the palm of my hand. I'm going to add a little bit of cream. This is butternut squash, not because it's necessarily what we think of first for summer, but because it's tough to blend. I yep. wanted to show you that. Like that is exactly the power that you will need wow. to do any kind of soup. Now, here's why I love cooking with it. I'm gesticulating wildly with my left hand and talking to Suzanne here. That's because I only need one hand to cook. You know, I can do something else. I can take my cream. I can pour it in. The whole time, I, I am pesto. still going You're like this. You're adding stuff to pesto. You're doing whatever it is. When I bake cakes, I can add the oil. Keep doing this. When I make smoothies for the kids, I have let. I have never let my kids use another immersion blender because it's $100 until now because they can take this in a beaker and make their smoothies and make their protein smoothies. But that is how easy these are to use and the end result is just stunning. Within absolute seconds, I took massive chunks of butternut squash and turned them into liquid. So 300 watts in the palm of your hand is all you need to do virtually anything that you would be using an immersion blender for. That's awesome. And I love it. And the price point is obviously oh, absolutely amazing. Well, then let's add three flex to that. On top of the, okay. uh, the great price, on flex pay, it's $8.32. Here's how I've left, though. You ready? I have 100 in the lavender, so that's really limited. That's the lavender. Uh, we have the periwinkle, I have 220. In the pink, I have 315. And in the black, I only have 525. So across the board, these are really limited, actually. And if you've never had an immersion, bl immersion blender, grab this one, because you really do discover why people love them so yes, much. Yes, the reviews are phenomenal. And I know why we don't have a lot left, because these came out at Christmas when we aired them. Right. And we literally sold everything but we I had. But I have to tell you guys, I really thought, before I saw them, this easily could be one or two hundred dollars. I mean, talk about this yep. metal. You can feel the construction of this is beautiful. Absolutely, it's really heavy. So duty. right off the bat, it's heavy duty and solid, but it's not heavy. Yeah. Because I want to be able to one hand this stainless steel on the bottom. I want to get a shot of my fingers here. As you can see, there are two buttons. There's Amazing. a high and a low. Low with one finger high with the other. It fits ergonomically right there in between my two fingers. I have very small hands, so any kind of kitchen appliance that I can one hand and work with, I know is well made. And let's do the test. What's the test of every blender we have? Ice. Yeah, you know, sure. it's got to be able to do ice. So let's go. If you've got a blender that can make a frozen drink in the palm of your hand, you have got a blender that is your friend for the summer. So I took the ice from the freezer. I took the ready-to-go margarita mix, and off I go. It is bringing in, you can see it bring the ingredients up into the blade and it goes ahead and makes it a slush. So I like the fact that with an immersion blender too, I don't have to get out my big countertop blender. I can true. take this, I can make it as smooth as I want. I can make it as chunky as I want. The longer I blend, obviously the more smooth I'm gonna get. But you can see that it is not having any problem handling the ice. It's not making any kind of grinding noise. It is simply taking care of the ice. So I like the fact that I'm able to get the frothy, slushy consistency that I want. I can keep going and get it smoother. Typical my fashion, I'm ready for my cocktail, so I'm gonna <laughs> pour it and leave just a little bit of chunk in there. So I like it. It'll do the frozen. Oh, sure, It'll I'll do the try soup. It. Okay, just oh, to be sure. Twist my, yeah, I gotta make sure. It's <laughs> gotta make sure that it's blended really, correctly. Really, really, you know, we're just, it's, just, it's all for, uh, for you. So then you get into some fun things that once you have an immersion blender, you realize you can use it for everything. <laughs> That's delicious. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> it's really There's good. just something about that I on a summer job. night. <laughs> All right, let's talk about breakfast. If you've never had an omelet or a frittata where you actually blend the eggs, oh, you've never had a light and fluffy one. So I'm using the low speed. Obviously, I could do this with a fork, but when you do it with a fork, you are not gonna get it that well blended and that uniform. What just literally 10 seconds with an immersion blender will do for your omelet or your frittata is absolutely amazing. Well, let me ask you a question. If you were gonna do that traditionally, you'd have to get a whisk out, right? Exactly. And that, or a 
exactly. a fork and you're just like working it for all it's worth. But it doesn't do it like that. No, you it won't can't give get you... there. And it also affects the end results for oh. flavor, doesn't and it? And fluff. Yeah. With the eggs, it is fluff for sure. Okay. So in Kelly Deidring's honor, we're always about baby food right now because <laughs> we're so excited for her. And we wanted to make baby food fresh. Mm. Again, don't get out the big blender. Don't feel like you have to buy that several hundred dollar blender processor. or the food processor. $24.95. Watch what we can do with fresh Actually, peas. Actually, that would be a great mom's gift. Oh, amazing for, shower gift. Mom. You know oh, what else it's really good for? For um, formula. To put the formula oh, in a pitcher sure. and do some oh, blending. You know what I like about it too? You're not using a bowl, then trying to blend it, or no. a blender, and then transferring it to what you're going to store it in. And then you have you're to actually clean the dumb it, blender. Right, you're doing it in the thing you're going to store it in. <laughs> Cleaning the blender has become one of my least favorite things in life. Oh, so awful. if I can just do small batches with an immersion blender, so much can easier. I see this? I've lately been doing a lot of protein shakes. Oh, perfect. And I put I, a lot of ice in them. Yes. So it's water, ice, protein shake, and a banana. That's exactly can what I we do just all did. That? Absolutely. See, you could do it in this I container. And I use a great big, I love my blender, but that thing's a beast. And it's hard to clean. It really hard It's to a clean. pain. You it have is. To, it really the blades is. don't come out, I'm sure. So I can really skip my blender for those two. Absolutely. I, in my mind, you could skip skip your blender for anything, because if you're making a large batch, you would just put this in a pitcher, like we did for a margarita. Oh, okay. If you're making a small batch, I can do it right here. And let's talk about cleaning. This is how we clean it. Oh, we twist. Great. I'll show you again. We twist it off. We plop it in the dishwasher. We are done. This is all there is to it, but it is a enough power right here run by two fingers that you can do absolutely everything. Okay, please never buy another bottle of salad dressing at the store again because unless you are buying the ultimate and then pricey clean salad dressing, you are getting so many preservatives and so many added things that if you actually read the bottle, you probably don't want in there. I scare you. Salad dressing is a fat. Wait, while you're doing that real sure. quick, I just gotta give an update. The lavender is gonna sell out. The periwinkle is about to sell out. The pink, I have less than 280. The black, I have less than 500 now. So if you want that lavender or the periwinkle, those are gonna be gone during this presentation. Gang, I have to tell you, if you've had an immersion blender and you miss it, maybe it broke or it's old or whatever, what an amazing price. If you've never had one, I think this is perfect because we talked about this, Stephanie. It's an affordable way to try immersion yes. blending and really experience the difference, i.e. that dressing oh. looks so vibrant yes. and so it's fresh real. and color. It's real. It's, it's real, real because it's real. salad dressing is literally a fat, so an oil, an acid, vinegar, lemon juice, lime juice, whatever you want. In this case, we added a fruit. And guess what you can tell? Because that is what a blended raspberry it's looks like. That is not what the blended raspberry that you may have found in the store looks like, does it? It has that funky red color because it's got red dye in it. Keep it natural. This makes it so much easier to eat real. And then you start to think about all the things we do the rest of the year, the holidays. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but making gravy is one of the harder things. I'm a very good home cook and I struggle with gravy. I mean, you just have to stand there and you have to stir those flour lumps out. If you're making a roux, I was making a homemade mac and cheese for the kids and made the roux first before I added the cheese, ended up lumpy because I wasn't paying close enough attention. This is how you solve every kitchen problem you have. Right. You get and out I your immersion blender. And the tomatoes for tomato soup too. Because you are in the mood. Out of time. Yeah, yes. You know, well, and you know what else soup. I like about the tomatoes? I like the tomatoes for uh, the sauces this time of year. Oh the gosh. tomatoes are going to come in season and you are going oh. to be able to make you, fresh pasta sauce. Can you imagine? And this is how the way and it like is to make a it good, smooth. A good Italian pasta sauce. Yeah, look at this. Oh, oh, look at how oh, oh, easy oh, oh, oh. we can simply puree our tomatoes. All right, so lavender almost gone. Periwinkle almost completely sold out. I've got 200 left in the pink. Black about 400 and then roll up a little farther. I see one more color available. Roll. There's nothing down below that. Oh, I can't see that. Okay, and then finally, the last color we have is, let's see, the pink, right? The maroon. I've got the pink. What's this color considered? What's this one? Here, you help me. That's pink. Yeah, it is pink. That's okay. pink. So pink, pink black, black, maroon, lavender. Maroon, lavender, and that's periwinkle. periwinkle. So the lightest blue is that pretty little periwinkle, and the one you're using right now is going to be? That's the lavender. The lavender color. And okay. whether it's your tomato sauce or your tomato soup, seconds, what you, we're what done. You, I've gotten people telling me a million things. What are you saying, Pat? <laughs> I can't hear you. Oh, where, she, he's calling it red. Okay. Okay, that's not. <laughs> How many do I have left in the red? I have 50. Okay, good. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up. There we go, thanks. Good to see you. Good to see you, <laughs> a lot of colors. Sorry, there's just a lot of colors and they're all really good. Stick around, check this out. <laughs>
Shop like a VIP with the HSN credit card. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. As an HSN card member, you'll get all kinds of perks, like extra flex on jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases all day, every day. Plus VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, and there's no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. <laughs> You're watching HSN. This show is called... Um, I totally forgot. Kitchen HQ. So it's your kitchen headquarters. It's a line of products that we do specifically from your suggestions. So we've been doing this a long time and you guys have a lot of great ideas. And so we take all those and we literally make a line of cookware and appliances that are designed with all of your ideas involved. And you have great ideas. This one I think is beyond brilliant. And we have such a good price on this. We've talked a lot over the years about air frying. And if you've never done it before, I cook with my air fryer all, all, all the time. I can darn well tell you it is not a rotisserie for sure, but I love it. Why? Because I can get the taste and the snap of fried foods without any of the guilt. Well, take that same concept and now let's make it an oven and now let's make it a rotisserie oven as well. So again, how brilliant is that for this product? This is a featured price today, plus you have five flex pays and we have free shipping on this. What are you getting with it? You have black, gray, or red as our options. You get the a fryer oven. You get two of the air racks, which are non-sticks. You get the dehydrator air diffuser. How awesome is that? You can dehydrate with this. You get the rotating skewer rack. You get the split. You get the rotisserie stand. You get a mesh basket with the handle. You get a baking tray, which is two-in-one baking tray, and you get the splatter guard. So we got a lot to get into, but you get a huge configuration. Also, you get some recipes to go with it, and I do have air frying for everyone. It's a great little cook book if you'd like to pick that up. Hi, Kel. Hi, I love this machine. Oh my gosh, This it's is so everything cool. all in one. It's your air fryer. Okay. It'll be your oven. It'll bake convection bake. Stop it, As an seriously. oven, it's a dehydrator. I saw, I know, I love that. It'll broil. And it'll do, I mean, it'll grill, it'll, it'll do everything so that you So air want. frying is actually It's like just one, of, one the of the elements. But they do it all so well because it's done in this little small space. Oh. So I wanted to turn the light, it has a light too. So if you're somebody that likes to check in on things. Sure. This is a rotating mesh basket. Now, traditional air fryer, what do you always have to do? You have to shake the basket. Yeah, you gotta open it up, you, you gotta, gotta shake it, it around and shake put the it back basket. Down. Now you don't have to do that. Sorry, my hand was in the way. But you can see there, it rotates. <laughs> These are chicken wings. Stop Now, it. in this situation, I could have used the air fry tray, which you're getting or the basket. You decide, but don't get overwhelmed because there's a lot of accessories. They all will work, you know, concurrently in conjunction with each other. You can do levels of air frying. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one out and it's great because it gives you this little uh, handle to grab it out with. Okay. It'll beep and turn itself off when it's done, which is nice. My traditional oven at home doesn't do that. It burns <laughs> things if I don't turn it off, right. right? So all you do is you take this, you reach on in and then there's a little lock button here. You can't see the lock button because of my hand or something, but the, the little lock button's here on the left. There we go. So it actually releases Yeah, there you go. And then it releases it. And then I can take my like air fried that. chicken wings oh. that were done in my rotisserie. And by the way, it'll do a chicken as well. You can see we're doing our rotisserie chicken right next door. Do you do it in the basket or just on a no, rotisserie? No, it has a rotisserie spit that comes included. Oh, that's fabulous. So all the accessories come included. I love this machine because it replaces your toaster. It replaces your big oven. Right. It replaces your convection oven. I'm grabbing these. These replaces are great. Replaces your air fryer. Replaces your air fryer. Uh, these are available on hsn.com as well. They're really nice to have if things are hot. This is obviously going to be hot uh, coming out of the oven. But then you just um, open oh it up. Oh, my gosh. And look at my crispy, oh. crunchy chicken wings. Oh, now, I heard you had a caller last um, product with John. Yep. His doctor said, stop eating the fried foods. Yes. I heard him say that. Lots of people are in that boat, right, situation. Absolutely. If your doctor... You're your nutritionist, your wife, your spouse, your husband says, stop eating the fried foods. Air frying is essentially replacing the oil with air. So you're still getting crispy. Mm -hmm. You're still getting crunchy. You're still getting all the things we love and we crave about crispy and crunchy, but you're using air because there's a super convection fan on the inside of this air fryer oven that crisps it up using air, not oil. But it doesn't dry out the doesn't interior. Doesn't dry it, yep. I am telling you, if you've never, ever done any kind of air frying, you honestly don't know what you're missing. So the other day I was doing a recipe and you need a bacon, right? Yep. And you can put the bacon in the skillet and then it gets all gross. Or you can put it in the oven and that's not so good. I stuck mine in the air fryer. You know, I told my husband when I got done, I said, you know what's interesting about air frying bacon? First off, it turned out amazing, it right? Better? Tastes better. It but does. you know what? It did 
didn't stink up my whole house. It doesn't. You're There's right, something it's, about it's, that not sitting in oil. its grease yep. and oil that doesn't make your whole house smell. And you can certainly tell that with these units too. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, because is that it's a confined. cauliflower? So maybe okay. you're doing and you're entertaining. You got me on this one. I'm and you've got the that. vegetarian friends or the vegan friends, but they still want the buffalo oh cauliflower. They want the buffalo seasoning, buffalo crispy cauliflower. Is so what did you do? How did you make that? All we did was, you can dust it with a little bit of oil, mm. tiny bit of oil, sure. to crisp it up, and then just olive oil or avocado oil, and then we just crisped it under our That's... vegetable setting, because this, I'll show you the settings, there's a picture of a vegetable that you push. No kidding. It's all pictures, it's all designed so that you don't have to do any thinking. <laughs> I love machines don't like that. Don't think, just Stop look thinking. at it. just so look at it. show us, what are you putting okay, in Okay, so we're gonna go to this machine here. All you do is hold that on button and your whole menu comes up. Oh, this nice. is like your world lighting up, right? Here's your toast feature. You can use this as your toaster. It'll do four slices of toast. Oh my gosh. Throw away that old rusty toaster. You can see we have our chicken wing button, our reheating of pizza or doing a frozen pizza button. There is our fried chicken button. There's a pork button, French fry button. It gets overused in my home because <laughs> it's for French fries and for tater tots. You can use your vegetable button. There's that corn button. You can see there's ribs, there's seafood or shrimp. And then right here is your dehydrator button for your fruits or your meats. So it'll set it at the right temperature. It'll set it at the right temperature or you can adjust it if if you have a certain recipe. Okay. Everything can be adjusted. There's your bake or your convection bake for your cupcakes. There's your fish, there's your light, which will turn the light on and off. And then when you're doing a rotisserie, you just hit that rotating button and it will rotate your basket or it'll rotate your chicken. What's the second, last two buttons? Uh, this is um, a reverse. So you can go backwards and then that's the light and then this is on. Oh my gosh, that's great. Isn't now what's the neat? knob for? So the knob is just to turn it on and select. Oh, okay. So it'll actually move things around Oh, gotcha. Well. Yeah, oh, that's brilliant. your timer, brilliant. your temperature. Oh my gosh, that's so clever. So really you can't mess it up, but everything's built into it. Think about all the things it'll replace. If you were thinking about getting a $100 dehydrator, this is a dehydrator. Yeah. This is your air fryer. Well, your this air fryer, if you just have an air fryer like I do, that, you know, I love it, but it takes up a lot of space. Sure. I'd much rather have a unit that does multiple jobs oh than just a great air fryer. It I'm does telling you, you so won't even use things. your big oven. I wouldn't imagine you have because, to. Because, you know, the big oven, they're, they're big. They're designed to do like a large turkey, right? That's right. about the biggest thing we do in our oven. It's about the only thing I use mine for anymore. So true, right? Because you can do a four pound chicken in here and not by the rotisserie at the grocery store That's anymore. Amazing. So I love this machine. You're really gonna find that it replaces a lot of different items. Okay, so Drop let me, me give you an update on colors. We actually have three colors available. In the red I have, which is right there behind uh, Kelly, I have 830. In the black, which is the one over here she was working with, we have 965. And I have a little over 1,000 in the gray. Now here's what we did. This is called a feature price. The price is exceptional. It's amazing. We are normally <laughs> 159.95, so while it's feature price, you're saving uh, $20 there. Plus, I definitely want to point out five flex. You can get this home for $27.99 over the next five months. You pay it off. It comes right away. You don't lay away it. It'll come to your house. You have five months to pay it off. And we even have free shipping and handling. This ain't a pair of small earrings we're sending you. This is a pretty good size box. <laughs> it is. It's 10 quarts too, by the way. So if you're looking at the family air fryers, the largest one I know of is six and a half quarts. Right. This is 10 quarts. That's great. And I can do double rack air frying. Oh, so get you choose here. between bake, convection oh. bake, air fry, dehydrate, toast, if you want to grill, if you want a rotisserie, all of those options are available to you right down front. You hit that on and then you select. I'm gonna do the french fry feature right there. Hit that start button and then you can even turn the light on or off. If you're the, somebody that likes to come by and check on things. Okay turn that light on or off. Look at there, it goes on. And you can see my mozzarella sticks, you can see my tater tots. Whatever it is you're cooking, That's you're awesome. going to be able to do it inside here. And if you own like bakeware up to nine inches, as long as it's oven safe, it's safe for this. So I can make um, brownies. Yeah, brownies, cupcakes. Could you make a lasagna? You can make a lasagna, green bean casserole at the holidays. That's awesome. Mac and cheese bake. And you can see the technology. I mean, 10 quart capacity, the largest air fryer that I've seen. The rotisserie spit is just that um, added bonus. Of course, the mesh basket rotates. That's great. Never Look again do skewer. you have to, yeah, the, the skewers. skewers. Oh yeah, we didn't even mention the skewers. Yeah. We'll have to get a shot of that. You get the baking rack and the air fry trays, plus all the presets built in. I mean, it's ideal for roasting, baking, grilling, air frying, and dehydrating. <laughs> so if you or somebody wants to do your own beef jerky, because mm -hmm. of all the sodium they load into beef jerky, mm -hmm. you can do your own beef jerky, you can do your own apple Like your crisps, own banana chips? Your own um, uh, banana chips, your own apple chips, mango, strawberry, all of those wonderful things. That's brilliant. Okay, so why pick this up? Because number one, 
it fits under your counter, which thank you. I love this. I, I appreciate the it. Size. We really listen to everyone. We really do when we develop these the items and these lines. It's a proprietary collection from us. And we listen to you guys. You say, well, you know, I want it, but can it fit under my counter? This will definitely fit under the kitchen cabinets. Yep. On top of that, it's not a huge, giant machine. It's a little taller, but it's not really wide, but you still get 10 quarts. Yep. So it's not like it takes up a ton of your real estate on your countertop. No. And I love that. I really like the shape and size of this. We did bacon wrapped pork. Is that redundant? I don't think so. <laughs> bacon wrapped Never. pork roast. All right, that's a four pound pork roast. Oh my gosh. So you could really easily feed a family of four to six with this. And we did all of our roasted vegetables mm. simply by choosing the bake selection. So you don't always have to choose that air fry selection. If you wanted to do a roast, a beef roast, a pulled pork, some spare ribs, a single chicken breast, a single piece of salmon, all of those things you can do right inside that oven without turning on our big giant oven. What happens when we turn on our ovens at home? Guess what, the air conditioning goes down because we're hot, right? <laughs> Our ovens heat up our whole kitchen, so we're hot, and then we get that electric bill and we cringe. Right. This is not going to heat up your whole entire kitchen. Can you imagine your, your oven gets jealous? It's like looking <laughs> over there going, why don't you use me anymore? Look at me, I'm bigger. I'm, I'm here, I'm big, I'm really hot, I'm really messy. <laughs> it's hard to get down there and get stuff in and out of it. Exactly. You know, I have to say, this is totally an age thing, too. I love just being able to walk up and go, it's right here. It's right here. It's on my counter. Level. I'm not down Bending over. trying to put something That's in. That's not pull. an age thing. I think that is age. <laughs> Nobody wants to bend over and look, and, and I'm always opening it. My husband's like, stop opening it. You're letting all the air. Right, but you gotta bend even lower to see to get a there. look at it. Yeah. It's countertop, it's eye level. This is so ideal for dorm rooms or assisted oh, living, condos, apartments, perfect. RVs, cottage homes, perfect. Uh, mobile homes, anywhere so now, that's what are you, limited. What are you whipping up here? So right here, we just have two grilled cheese, right? Okay. You can see we've got them on the tray there. I could probably fit a third. Okay. And then I've got some quesadillas. Oh so my God, and you're gonna do it all at the same time? We're gonna do it all at the same time. That's so great. you're getting two of the air fry baskets and you can see they're perforated um, on the bottom. So the air is circulating. So I don't have to go in and flip these. Oh, right. It's because the bottom may be cooked too. Exactly. Oh, that's great. In your traditional oven, you'd have soggy on one side and you'd have to flip it, right? Right, right. This is also going to be great for reheating leftovers too, right? Oh, that's awesome. Go ahead and use it for your reheating leftovers. So I've actually found that with this one, I'm going to select that pizza button because I want that crispy, crunchy. Okay. And then I'm going to hit start and then it goes on and it will turn itself off once it's finished. I just love it's touch screen, it's easy. Touch screen, Super digital. Super easy to clean up. Oh yeah. That's great. Now what's the deal on the uh, top? The, the top has like a little bit of, um, um, it's not mesh, it's like a little soft place to put things. Oh lovely. Yeah, it's just a set place to put things. So you can set something down so on it if you need it So it doesn't slide around, yeah. So oh, it just has brilliant. a little bit of a texture that to it. so smart. Yeah, and if you want to store things up there, you could. We've done baking in here. Oh my a gosh. Lot of, um, oh, Helen, that's a full size pan. That's a nine inch pan, and yeah. Helen last night was like, uh, uh, you know, obsessed. She's like, you mean I can bake in this? That's There's cool. actually a button built in that has a cupcake picture that is built for baking. So my brownies. Your brownies, your cupcakes, cakes. your lava cakes, your, you know, whatever really, it is you want to bake. it is break. a convection oven. It's a convection oven. It'll bake, convection bake, it'll broil. It'll grill, it'll air fry, it'll dehydrate, I th that is and it'll really, rotisserie. That is really remarkable. That's the carrot cake that comes included in the recipe guide. Oh, gotcha. And also, gang, just to show you, this is a book, it's called Air Frying for Everyone. I think if you haven't tried air frying, it's definitely a guilt-free way of eating. Because a lot of times we're like, ooh, I wanna do those chicken wings, but gosh knows, we really don't like all that grease that we have to fry them in. And what do you do with the grease afterwards anyway? You'll get that same Crispy, Actually, crunchy. better taste. Yep. It's more authentic taste, and you get the crisp crunch of your favorite, favorite hot wing. But you get zero of the oil, oil that you normally yep. have to cook with. It's so true. Oh, what did you make here? So these, these are, are the snackies. little French French bread pizzas, oh, right? Great. So whether you have the kiddos coming home, or you are the kiddo, <laughs> or they have an adult kiddo <laughs> that loves the crispy, crunchy, you can hear. Imagine garlic bread. Oh, jeez. I please. mean, you can hear the crunch, and this was used on that air fry feature. You can see it's perfectly cooked on the top and the bottom. You you don't have to flip it, you don't have to turn it. There's really no special things that you have to do, except get it home and try it, yeah. right? Look at the salmon. That's beautiful. We did salmon and asparagus, so maybe you're on that health kick, right? It doesn't have to be all the air fried foods. It can be traditional, healthy, beautiful dishes, made for two, made for four, and everything can be delicious. And I mean, no oil whatsoever. You could add a little lemon, maybe a little garlic, maybe a tiny bit of butter if you like butter. But at the end of the day, look how healthy, look how easy, look how simple. Oh, it is. And I like that you could all get it around at once. One you know. machine. And by the way, not to mention, it's your toaster. 
Yeah, I mean, we always gloss over that, but I've got a big clunky toaster that's got rust on the edges of it. <laughs> I'm ready to get rid of that thing. Get rid of the toaster because this will it. toast your bread, your bagels, you know, your garlic well, bread, about whatever it, it is. It eliminates your oven. Yep. Completely. Completely. It eliminates your toaster. Yep. It eliminates your air fryer. Yep. If you bought a rotisserie, you know, we sold, we've the actually in the past sold just rotisseries. For 100 bucks. For $100, yeah. just a rotisserie oven, right? Yep. It gives you now a rotisserie oven. What have I missed? I got four of them. Um, dehydrator. <laughs> oh, it's your dehydrator. Yeah. You, $100. Dehydrator. I mean, we've done do the beef well. here, so if you it's just, if you're idea. somebody that loves dehydrating beef, yeah. your chicken, your salmon, dehydrating, you can dehydrate it, and then right inside there, let me flip that light on, there's our four pound rotisserie chicken, you oh, don't have so to go smart. to the grocery store anymore. You know, I think this is an awesome, great gift for somebody, great too. Great price, If too. you've got somebody who doesn't cook a lot, or maybe they just don't have the space, maybe you're downsizing and you're like, you know what, I'm not going to use a big oven anymore, this is the perfect yep. answer. All right, Kelly, thanks for hanging out. I'll save you some food. Oh, please, I love the cauliflower is I know, isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh. It's delicious. All right, now Juliana Fashions are coming back here to HSN, so check this out. G by Juliana is for the confident, fashionable, amazing woman. She can expect to feel comfortable. She can also expect a lot of compliments. They'll be asking, who are you wearing? 